me and Excalibur were actually having a conversation about female protagonists in video games and how many there are on the next gen console that is solely the protagonist. And yeah. I could only count four. Really? Yeah, I could only count four. I can, um, it's a Bayonetta, uh, yeah, Samus, Samus Aran um, from Metroid, uh, Lara Croft now, and yeah. Mirror's Edge. Oh, oh, bugger, I forgot her name. Yes. Um, but yeah, the, the the woman from Mirror's Edge, I have completely forgotten her name. I think if we explore, I mean, if I remember rightly, that's a homeless guy down there. I think he's like cooking a steak or something. I mean, well, <laughs> I'd love to be well, homeless. I'd and say it'd be like a steak. You know? I'd say it's like a rat, maybe. Yeah, be a steak. <laughs> Like a giant enormous rat. It is a mistake. Crikey. Wow. The homeless eat well. <laughs> then look no further, my petite. This is a particular man. Bouchard. Louis Bouchard. Know him? No. Never heard of him. Even for spare change. Go away and never heard of him. Okay. <clears throat> so we've eliminated that option, so let's go up. <laughs> close up of Lara with her very very heavy eyeliner mm. but yeah um, about female protagonists yeah, there are very few that have like their own game where, yeah. and this is um, discounting games that you can choose a male character as well this is just female yeah, like just, a, just yeah, yeah. Just there is very few reason. and that's kind of sad yeah. and I'm gonna go talk about feminists feminists are like they can't seem to, um, they never seem to be happy about the female protagonist. Like, the, apparently, yeah. the only uh, female protagonist they're happy with is um, uh, Mirror's Edge. Really? Yeah. You're I'd say Laura Croft is a good woman, you know. I mean, yeah, but here's the problem. Like when we're talking about this next gen, we're talking about PS3, Wii, and 360, and. <clears throat> Even I have problems with um, new TR. Yeah, yeah. With her characterization. Now, basically, like, people don't like Bayonetta because she's over sexualized. I don't actually see that. Personally, I don't see that as a problem. If men are com if men are overly sexualized, why can't it be a woman as well? Well, yeah. If men walk well, around like bare chested, not like, exactly, yeah. I, I know that they're going on about how it, the game was meant to be all one handed really and all monster. this crap, but much, uh, to be fair, the are um, messy, uh, you know, uh, it's still monster. very empowering. Angel the story, it's, she doesn't need help from a man. She has to save a female god from a patriarchal uh, cult or something that's trying to corrupt it. Yeah. You know? I mean, Mirror's Edge, it's a female character taking down a, um, a kind of patriarchal society whilst looking for his sister. Yeah. Benata kind of has a very similar thing, except it's more to do... It, very Devil May Cry-esque. Yeah. And um, Samus, uh, other, <laughs> other M, was really hated. Because basically she was taking orders from a man and she could not do anything unless Adam taught her. She couldn't right. fire a gun, she had to, you know, equip things when he told her. Okay. And it's all like motherhood, I wouldn't worry. except it's We're for a, a baby <laughs> alien and she kept calling it the baby you, constantly. The baby. Like, Sam is around. First female protagonist in the um, video game history, size from Pac-Man. I know people think of, uh, sorry, um, Mrs. Pac-Man or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but Samus was the first kind of action, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess. So. And yeah, it would have been. Yeah. Ruined. Oh, well, ruined, basically. But with New TR, this is the thing. She goes from vulnerable yeah. to kill crazy psychopaths. In a very short space yes. of time. Yeah, very short. Yeah. I mean, if she, you know, had gone from vulnerable to that in the whole space of the game. Yeah. Okay, yeah, fair enough. But it was literally within that first... Like, after that, after yeah. she killed the first guy, yeah. if you had the perks, like, the gameplay really did not complement the story at all. No. I mean, and I didn't like the story. I'm going to be honest. I, you know, I really didn't, didn't go for the story. I didn't. Much. I just thought it, it could have been done better. Yeah. It could have been done better. Yeah, definitely. Um, what does you? You know, they spent so much time on it, and, you know, we were all expecting, you know, great things. You know, the first, you know, when you very first start playing it, you think, mm, you know, this could be good. Yeah. And then as the game goes on, you kind of think, well. I know what's yeah. You know? I uh, the thing that got me so is that 
It's like, like, the gameplay is too bloody easy. Oh, yeah, without and, a doubt, and, yeah. They, and the creators and developers are going on about that this is supposed to be a survival game. And the problem is, like, NGS3 had better survival. Oh, yeah. Where you had to, you know, take out the, like, stop, take yeah. out the, the thing. And, like, when Laura's pulling out that spike at the beginning. Yeah. Like, yeah. if it was NGS3, you'd have to pull out the spike. You'd have to, just, like, um, put antiseptic on it, soak yeah. the wound, and bandage it. And you had to, like, actually have the items to do that. Yeah. And that was more survival. And killing the animals, you killed the animals, you had to yeah. eat them. You could eat them, and you had the stamina gauge. If you didn't exactly. eat... Exactly. And different animals caused your stamina to either recover quicker or slower, yeah. kind of thing. You need to be careful of picking up poisonous things, because that would affect you. Yeah. And that was... I, I, I get that they wanted to streamline um, New Tomb Raider. Like, yeah. they, may, they really wanted to streamline it, but... <clears throat> it really didn't feel like survival, it just kind of... It just no. felt, It did feel very Dead Space. Yeah, see now, I personally, I haven't played Dead Space. Um, you know, I've seen a couple of people play it, but, you know, I haven't really taken that much notice mm. of it, you know. I find it to be very Resident Evil 5. <laughs> you know, oh, yes. I, I don't know why. I think it was just because of the amount of um, Killing. skulls. And skulls, and, yeah. You know, and the bloody... Just, yeah. Oh, was it Apocalypse Now reference when she comes out of the, of the river of blood? Yeah. I don't mind... I didn't mind... I don't mind the idea that they're trying to go for... A, a woman. I, mean, I don't know why they had to do this because she's a woman, but going from vulnerable to strong. Mm. I just don't think that they did it very well. No. No. Or rather, the gameplay did not complement it at all. There, there was no feeling of guilt. And I, I, and what I mean, I don't want her to be crying and feeling upset that she killed. I want her to say, "Oh God, I've killed someone," and then um, wrath or one of her friends yeah. say, "It's okay, you had to," and she's like, yeah. "Right, yeah, you're right." Okay, let's do this kind of yeah. thing. That's that's all I wanted. Yes, I yeah. didn't just I don't, to bridge the yeah. gap. I didn't want yeah. her to be crying or moping. Oh my god, I killed! I just wanted her to have this sense of, like a realistic sense of, I've killed someone, rather than oh, you don't know how easy it was. That's it. Yeah, you become one man army. Yeah, very much so. I mean, when you think of uh, you know all the men that were on that island, you know, and. Mm -hmm. She just managed to take them, well, pretty much all of them down. Oh no, I've killed the security guard, this innocent guy doing his job! <laughs> That's another thing. Like, yeah. it, over the course of the Tomb Raider's different, um, um, can uh, different canons, yeah. because there are, there are technically three different yeah. canons. There's yeah. Core's, Crystal Dynamics, PS2 version, and then New TR. Yes. And over time, she gets more psychotic when it comes to killing people. Have you noticed that? Yes. Yeah. So absolutely. Yeah. Good. Oh. Now oh, it's the club. The yeah. <laughs> I mean, Check like, out that music. Yeah. You know, going back to this one, actually. Um, you know, I think round about now. I mean, you've got to bear in mind we've just come through the door. Uh, you know that we have to get up off, up on the like structure, um, you know, because she looks at it to show you. I mean, she's done all of that for us, pretty much. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, should we do the, the play safe example on this? I mean, we can go from Yeah, yeah, let's just do the play now. safe example. Okay, so uh, we'll, sh we'll, we'll show you. If you press play safe, okay, now I've actually put the controller down. Yeah. Okay? So, right, so she climbs up on that, okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> I love okay. the, the wipe transition. Yeah. I'm sure with the play safe option, don't you get Laura running across the screen <laughs> as well at some point? You yeah. know, now she's done all of this. Okay, now... We um, have two options. We have two options. Don't do anything, just let her do it all for herself, or go for it. Now, there is a consequence, you don't get as many points in place. That is true. That's the only yeah. consequence in this. You know, and seeing as they were collecting the points, let's go for it. No, no. Okay. Yeah. So, left, right, left. Oh, this is so hard. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. And all for a box that we don't actually see what's inside the box. Mm. A box that magically shrinks in size to fit in her pocket. Yeah, that's another thing in the new TR. Where yeah. is she putting everything? Yeah, <laughs> in her behind. Or yeah, I think so. magical hammer space. I mean, they did make away. her behind 
a little bit more prominent. So, you know. <laughs> Actually, the one thing I've always admired about the Tomb Raider series is that there is no jiggle physics. Mm. Have you noticed that? Even in NTR, I didn't notice any kind of... Or was there jiggle physics? Yes, I think there was, actually. Um, in... I'm very minor. Very, very. But there's never been jiggle physics in the... Pre- like, New TR is the only game, if yeah. it does, that has jiggle physics. None of the... No. And it's, it seems to be this urban myth or something that it does. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. It, really, no, it never just, has had uh, jiggle physics, like, with the, uh, with the very breasts. Very solid figure. Or butt, either way. Yeah. I think the only one uh, where you could see that she was a little bit... I mean, she's always been sexualised, hasn't she? Yeah. I mean, she always has just been this this image she, of... The image. She, she became yeah. to a point where she was I a celebrity. Yes. And Dorsey... The Luke, do you remember the LucasAid outfit? There was oh, a LucasAid outfit. Goodness, yeah. Yeah. And she was running from dogs and she was drinking LucasAid. Like, she's yeah. not a real person, but they made it no, feel like she was. Yeah. No. I mean, the only one where you could party. say that, you know, you she she was well and truly sexualized, I think, was Anniversary. Because of the angles. I mean, you would crawl through a, a space and the camera would deliberately zoom right in on her backside yeah. so that it would wiggle as you moved her forward. And... You know, you're just thinking... So many butt shots in Legends Mind. Yeah. And, like, her butt had this wiggle. Yeah. It's like, well... And actually, when she was wearing the cocktail dress okay, okay. when she was going in, in Japan, wow. yeah. she looked really deformed from behind. Yeah. 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 Like, I get in the old games she was very deformed because... You know, the graphical yeah, limitations, where do I find this especially in the um, the really CG cutscenes. Mm. But in the PS2 era, I was hoping she'd be like, um, well, a bit more realistic, I guess. Yeah. Because her waist is skinny. It's like she wore a corset for like years until she took yeah. it off. But that's the thing. We we were in the cocktail party and she's got like a no back dress. And there are other women around that have yeah. no. And we walked past one and went, hey. Uh, Excalibur was famous, and I said, "Go back," and and we put we put them side by side. And her waist was really warped inside. She really looked alien. I was like, "What?" <laughs> at least here she looks slightly okay. proportion. Like, um, now at this point, I mean, we've been talking, so um, I know the answer, but let's see what happens. Um, it's try the top. Okay, now I think I know which one it is. I think it's, it's the Louis Noir. Yeah. So. If well, let's go. Let's start fruit rare. <laughs> yeah. Fruit rare. Oh, we don't even see. Okay. What really? <laughs> Game so, over. I mean, judging by the sign, what happened then was Laura backed away as that uh, security man decided to bang his fist on that oil <laughs> drum three times, extremely hard. I mean, that would be enough to terrify anybody into a game over. So. Oh my God! Calm down, man. Calm down. Let's try another one. <laughs> No, no, it's not the right answer. <laughs> no, bad Laura. You you said a wrong thing. Okay. Love right. your French woman. I mean, obviously the other wrong answer is going to come with the, exactly the same outcome. So let's <laughs> let's just get on with this. Why didn't you say so? Doesn't he look like like a weird Gundam? He looks like the guy from Gundam style. Oh, Sai. He looks Sai. like Sai from Gundam. Do you know? I thought he was looking a little bit uh, George Michael there. Really? Actually. Yeah. I yeah. thought the chubby face looked very Sai. Or Bang Gundam style. <laughs> hey, sexy lady. <laughs> she walks by. <laughs> Who does? <laughs> My god, that is going to keep a lot of people oh. away, isn't it? Oh, oh, here we go. Right. Okay, so we're in a. <clears throat> we can cemetery. die here. Okay. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. We, we actually get another shooting section. Oh no! A guard dog harmlessly doing its duty in protecting the cemetery. Bad dog. Okay, now she actually fired more bullets <laughs> sidewise than what actually came out of her gun then. So, you know, she has some kind of uh, magic. No, no, thing. go ahead. And... Oh, wow. My ass! <laughs> that, that was a DB, DB, TB. Death by dog bite two bum. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> wow. <good>. Okay. <laughs> that, seriously, how would you not hear that? And why would? Uh, Wouldn't you turn around? Yeah. You know. Uh, okay. So Kill the innocent dog. We know. I only like cats. Oh my God. <laughs> You're not a cat. 
bad doggy. Although she doesn't really like cats much, if you think about it. Look. Apparently, looking doesn't let the dog come up and bite her in the bum. No. I no. Mean, she's obviously <laughs> activating her uh, radar hearing there, you know. Uh, so that... You well, know, now where's the dog? The dog's not coming. Let's look at Laura's acrobatic skills. Amazing. She's very leggy in this game, isn't she? Yeah. Her legs are very long. I mean, she's always had the... Uh, long legs but it's yeah. really weird because in um the original tr she's yeah. got like really thick thighs yeah i thought that they made sense because she had to do a lot of running and jumping yeah. and then in t um two hundred four they made her really skinny yes and they made her head look huge she was skinny. like what <laughs> she was like uh you know like an lollipop celebrities you know <laughs> anorexic she looked really anorexic yeah i felt she like looked terrible this is not a, not a fantastic role model for yeah. Girls. I can always remember actually there's a uh, a scene in Tomb Raider 3 mm. um, and I think it's um, I think it's just after you've done sort of you know the Area 51 the, the Nevada Desert um, yeah. episodes press anything just okay so memorise oh no okay so memorise okay did I do that right? yeah yeah um, and it was just after, and it, I don't know if you can remember this actually, when she's in the back of the uh, truck, I mean. lorry, whatever it yeah, is, yeah. hops up onto the box, finds a can of Coke conveniently in yeah. the back of the, and is drinking it. And I don't know if you can actually remember, but if if you looked at her, um, I mean she was incredibly skinny in that yeah. game as well, but she actually had um, what I thought was bruise marks at yeah. the time on her, but it's yeah, actually I mean, her ribs. Really? Yeah. And the reason was, is because... What I read into, I mean, is this this could be completely false, but it's probably worth googling Magical actually. Um, is that it was to 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 give the player the sense of that she hasn't eaten for a long time, and oh, that's right. why she was so famished, and you know, that's why she was sort of guzzling down this can of coke, obviously because she was a bit dehydrated as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was actually rib marks, um, which I thought mm, that's a bit actually yeah, you know, that, that's not bad. That's not bad yeah. though. That's the idea that she's been adventuring for so long she hasn't actually had time exactly. to eat. Exactly. Yeah. But you don't get any sense of anything like that anymore. No. You know, it's... Uh... Like, I can understand why she's so skinny anyway. She's adventuring yeah. and not eating. Yeah. Um, What I never got is the fact that she was, like, incredibly skinny. Yeah. Like, I mean, she looks a bit more human here. Yeah, actually. she does. Oh, no. Quick. QTE. <laughs> but, yeah. she She looked more human. I mean, in the new TR, she looks more human except her facial animation's weird sometimes yeah like in some angles she looks odd yeah because yeah definitely they, they tried to make her look like laura and she's got a very prominent jaw yeah you know it's, uh, ah, looks like the, oh. the monster beautiful oh she just blase oh it's the guy who's mutated oh i've seen those in tr3 in london yeah. <laughs> but in my face oh. like in it oh yeah that was uh you'll be all right pip You'll die easy. You'll die easy, yeah. <laughs> There's a scouse? There's a scouse like that? It's uh, Geordie, I think. Geordie. What happened to your man in the room out there, Bouchard? <laughs>